offense breaking down the way it did? Uh, I think we were a little sloppy in general, even in the first half, but definitely in the second half. Um, you know, you get a lead, and I think we relaxed and tried to do it a little bit by ourselves <coughs> at times. Um, and then sometimes it's making and missing shots, and you didn't do that that well in the first half, seven for 22 from threes, and didn't get any better, six for 21 in the second half. But the things we did do when the shots weren't falling was continue to guard, and we let go of the rope as far as that in the second half. We gave up 60, 61, so. Um, shots aren't always going to fall. You can still rely on your defense and continue to play the right way and do the little things like we did in the first half, which is offensive rebound and keep them off the glass and kind of flipped in the second half. They dominated us on the boards um, and we didn't guard. How did they kind of take out the, out of the game in the second half? They, they sent some doubles a few times in the post, but I think uh, more, of us, more of us than what they did. I mean, they put Grant Williams on him and some switched some matchups, but um, he had point blank layups a few times that he missed. And so. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a lot that they did, other than us rushing and being a little sloppy at times. Fred, Jalen, and Alfie took uh, combined 62 shots. How can you get them to maybe distribute the ball just a, a little bit more? Well, I mean, as long as the shots are the good ones, the right ones, I'm not worried about that as much. Um, you know, you <coughs> knock down some of those wide open threes when the big is sitting back in the paint. Yeah, that's as good a shot as you're going to get. Uh, or hitting Alfie in the pocket and being a roller, and he's missing at the rim. So. Not concerned about the shots. I don't think it was poor shot selection. Um, when, when you make a few, obviously teams adjust, and then you can distribute and find other guys. But they took the right shots, and um, you knock a few of those down, they adjust, or the scores looks a little bit different there. I think in the second half, it was only three points on the break compared to 10 in the first half. Yeah. What do you think was the cause of the discrepancy? We didn't get stops. We didn't get out and run. Um, you know, had 49 and a half, and honestly should have probably been around the 40, 39 other than the late breakdowns in the first half and second half, 61. So we weren't getting stops to get out and running, but um, just as, as poorly as we played in the transition, uh, offense rebounds, the same thing. 19 in the first half, second chance points. They only had two there, so dominated us on the glass there. Why did you want a man in on some of those late-game possessions, and what did you see from him? Defensively, he wanted to switch, switch some more things. Um, Grant Williams obviously hit that big three, and they were going to pick and pop <coughs> with him, so I wanted to be able to switch and a good defender onto ball. Um, you know, it didn't hurt us early. He missed a few in the first half and then didn't just want to live or die by open three. And so um, kind of sub offense for defense late in the game. That, that stretch there, right after two minutes, y'all get those back-to-back offensive rebounds, and one of them was the one where I think Paul was able to score for the layup. Yeah. What went wrong there was not by now, just lack of awareness. Like, what, what, what went wrong in that stretch? Well, we switched and contested the shot, and I think it was Jabari on that one contested and didn't follow him in. He, he obviously saw it was missing wide left, but uh, obviously got to box out and get back into play. But uh, it's not only on Bari contesting, it's everybody else, and it was all the second half. So those two stand out, obviously, when we were getting stops, had a chance to get back in it. But um, the whole second half, they dominated us there. You mentioned the shot quality. If it's good shots, you're okay with them, you know, not going in. So is there anything else that can be done with that? Is it just you tip your cap, you miss the shots, go on to the next game? Or I mean, you know, Fred getting wide open looks, I don't think he's going to shoot two for 11 that often or four for 18. So that's obviously stands out. And Jalen, even the five for 15, you know, wide open looks, you make three, two, three more of those, and they, they adjust some. So I want guys to stay confident and take those shots. We knew Richard and those guys were going to be back in the paint, and you'd have those open looks. So, um, you know, make those and you expect, extend the 16, 18 point lead we had instead of letting it back in it by the shots. In a given game, do you ever have to make the call if you see a guy miss, you know, four or five shots in a row? Do you ever make the call, hey, you know, the three's not going, do something different? Yeah, of course. We got downhill and we got obviously different sets that we'll put them in and we like the threes with the bigs back or we attack with the small on, on their, on the set in the screen. So Chandler got downhill quite a bit in the late possessions. You know, he got some handoffs there, off ball actions and so. You want to mix it um, a lot of times in flow. If it's not a play call, you call the big up, and that's the shot you're going to get if they're big sitting back in the paint. Alfred's time on the bench late in the fourth there. Was that fatigue, normal rotation, injury, anything? Yeah, we got him back in early. We got all of our starters back in early when uh, the bench kind of gave up a lead in the, to start the fourth, and so we brought them all back before we wanted to. He didn't have a lot of rest there. And then, um, you know, defensive possessions, like I talked about, we wanted to switch a little bit there. With your bar, is it more about – uh, with him being more aggressive to get more shots, or do you want to just kind of just stay in the flow of the game with the shots coming to him? Both. I think uh, when the play is not called, you know, we can do our part to help out and, you know, cut to the basket and get some offensive rebounds, things like that. But when we're playing with the pace we're playing with, it's kind of fine guys. And um, if it doesn't find you, you can 
you know, it's kind of equal opportunity there. So I called some play calls for him, got him some threes up, and that he made some, missed some. But, um, yeah, I think a guy like Dylan really hunts the ball in different ways when the play is not calling for him. He still interjects himself offensively, and so Jabari could do some of that. But um, at times it's just not going to be a night based on the flow of the game. Overall, were you, were you good with the shots that you wound up getting overall? Yeah. Reed yeah. showed some aggressiveness early in the game. What you made of his game? <clears throat> I think I, you know, he as well as all, all our guys to start the game looked a little jittery. You know, we were missing layups and the, the looks that we had in the, from three were great in the first half, um, but more so the stuff around the basket. And I think he was in, in with the rest of the group as far as that. So, um, you know, first game for him, he's going to adjust and, and play well. Obviously, he played much better, but um, I think our whole group overall to start the game looked a little jittery. We found our footing and got the big lead and then. Uh, went away from what made us successful later in the game. With so much talent on your team, how hard is it to distribute those minutes? I mean, we have a rotation that we look at and like, and um, depending on how the guys play, you know, those minutes can get extended. But, um, you know, like I said, I, I didn't love our end of third, start of fourth, so I went back with the starters there. And, um, you know, we do have depth, and I think the first time, the first half when the bench came in, they extended in the first half. So, um, you know, you kind of roll with them. and. Let guys play it through and see what happens, but didn't love to start the fourth, so went back with our starters. So it's going to be a good problem to have all year, though. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.